By the way, I have a good news. This guy, he won the election. Dutch election, Garrett, who is obviously, by the way, he's Islamophobic. <laughs> Anyone who speak about the scumbag of Islam is Islamophobia. Yeah, but by the way, don't have a phobia. No, 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 no. They don't rape your kids or kidnap them. No, 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 no. This is, this is all is a phobia. Phobia, phobia. That's not true. It's a very peaceful religion. No, no, no. If you have eight month old baby, they will not kidnap him or kill him. No, 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 no. If you are 90 years old women, they will not kidnap you. No way. Those people who speak against Islam and what Muslims do, they are Islamophobic. I'm telling you. Don't listen to them. They lie. They lie. So as you see here, it says, Wilder. And by the way, look, look what the, the, the European media. They say he is far right party. You see, they, they give you a title. You are far right. You are middle right. I mean, they give you a name right away. You know, like just to, uh, the title is ready. All the danger of Islam is not exist. It's a phobia. What in the world? You elect somebody who is an Islamophobic? Shame on you. ISIS does not exist. I mean, it's true they killed hundreds of thousands. Al-Qaeda, they raped and they killed and they enslaved. Uh, uh, Muslim Brotherhood in Syria and Libya and uh, they killed and raped and they burned churches and they burned Christians and they burned even Muslims but, but listen all of this is nothing but phobia it's fake news you see even the Israeli when they show you images of those who were kidnapped first of all all of this is fake images if you look as an example look this is I, I, saw, I saw actually <laughs> <laughs> a video she was saying look you know she was saying how they are kidnapped and they are smiling the stupid women she think that those pictures are taken when they were kidnapped i mean can you believe how stupid those monkeys so she was questioning okay so they are kidnapped and they are smiling who want to believe that is this is the woman who did you know we saw her video Recorded by Hamas. She was kidnapped. They put her in the motorcycle and look at her and now she is dead. They found her dead. Where? In a Shifa hospital. And this has come back. Basim Youssef, he is complaining about bombing hospitals. How come they are bombing hospital and the hospital is there? So the Israeli weapon, they are so, are they, are, is that fair work? How they bomb the hospital and the hospital is still there. So they have a tactic. Look at this old woman. She cannot walk. They took her with the, you know, this the, the golf cart. Look, look at this woman. She doesn't even know what's going on. Why in the world you take such a woman? And this has come back, Yusuf, claiming that the Israeli is the one using a human shield. This is Noah Argamani, not Noah Marcino. Okay, maybe I'm mistaken then. Maybe, I'm not sure. Well, I don't want any one of them to die, but, you know, we heard in the news that the one, her name is Noah. Lord have mercy. So, they kill you, they slaughter you, and then they claim that they are the victim. They are the victims. It's not you, it is them. And this uh, Morgan in a... You know, look, look at his face, like, eh. you know, uh, those, uh, TV, this kind of TV host, they remind me of somebody have a diarrhea, you know, eh. yeah, I understand, that's, eh. where are you? I mean, you don't have anything to say? We thought you say anything, and then the thing that is the hard time, hard time for you. I mean, can you believe that the women I showed you previously look like Asian? Are you sure? No, she is not Asian. By the way, she is not Israeli. Hmm. If you look at this guy who is hosting a TV show, you will feel like this guy, he lost his energy. It's like just a guy, he came from the gym. He was running for 10 hours. And he's talking so slow on his earth. Where are you? Why you don't get him busted? You know, if you want to make a show and you have only one guest, then you have to represent the other of you. You don't let that guy just, you know, bark like a dog non-stop. What about you say to him, okay, you know what, uh, okay, uh, uh, you have a family in Gaza, you have cousins in Gaza. What about those kids are killed? What about you call your cousin and ask them where is the victims, where is the, where is the kidnapped woman? Don't you have a cousins in Gaza? Call them. 
Are you telling me not one of your cousins are a member of Hamas? I can never take her out. <laughs> Again, I understand the, the humour, but I, to be serious, uh, Bassem, about this, tonight there okay, is... I will be serious. Now, I, I, I will be serious. I was watching your interview with Ben Shapiro, and I'll tell you one thing. Yeah. I think that Ben Shapiro is one of the smartest people... But because you're a donkey, if Ben Shamir Shapiro is the smartest person for you, you must be the most stupid person ever. Continue. Whoever walked this earth, he's very, very smart. Uh, is he smarter than your prophet Muhammad? I follow him and I believe everything he said. Uh -huh. And when he came on your show, his solution was, and I quote, uh -huh. his solution was that the solution for this is for Israel to annex Gaza. And You are a bin, you, you know, you are a son of a whore and you are a liar. This is what he said. He said, is to kill every one of Hamas. It is you Muslims who say, we should kill everyone in Israel. So do you see guys how they play the upside down? Did Ben Shapiro say, we have to kill everybody in Gaza, women, children? I mean, you are a big fat liar. And listen, the host, he don't say to him, no, he did not say that. I mean, this host, what his job? Shouldn't you say to him, okay, hold on, he was in my show, where he said that, remind me. The program is there, where he said we have to kill every person in Gaza. And instead, this host, uh, <laughs> this is a TV host. Shouldn't you say to him, where Ben Shabiro, he said what you are saying. And instead, uh, okay, I understand, which means you agreed he said that, but he did not. <sighs> he did not say it directly. No, we know what uh, everybody mean, that they have to finish Hamas. And you know, hold on. Let us say for the sake of argument, Ben Shabiro, he said that. Who is Ben Shabiro? Is he the prime minister of Israel? Is he even an Israeli? What Ben Shabiro have to do with it, even though? You know, like, I mean, look how stupid, silly, you know, scumbags they are. If this guy, he said, we have to kill all the Jews, is he from there? No. We are talking about war. They talk about Ben Shabiro. We talk about war. The war involves Israeli and those who live in those territory, which is part of Israel. Who care what Ben Shabiro said? And he did not say that. It is you Muslims who say we have to kill every Jews. And you know, if we go right now and watch the videos, which is made by the leaders of Gaza, Every single one of them, he says, we should kill every single Jew. Every single Jew, not Israeli. Somebody saying, would you like to go in the Paris Morgan show? No. I will never accept to be in his such a stupid show. When you associate yourself with a stupid person, stupid show, you must be stupid like them. The first thing for somebody to host a show, as they call it, it's a show anyway, it's not even real. Show is show, it's just entertainment. Which means there's no education, there's nothing, you know, there's no benefit. It's a show. That's why they call it show. It's not, it's not called the class. It's not called training. It's called show. People want to kill time. So if I want to be with somebody, I want to be with somebody, he speaks smart, he asks smart, and he answers smart. When you associate yourself with donkeys, you will look like a donkey. And you will talk with donkeys. In order to do so, you have to speak the language of donkeys. People, they go in such a program just to become famous. That's all. This guy, he have big numbers of, uh, of viewers. And if you want to be famous, be there. But is it really my business to be famous or my business to be truthful? All of them are the same equality. They play victims. And they take advantage that the host is a donkey. He is so submissive. This guy, he washed dishes for his wife for sure. Even, even if his wife is doing nothing. So when they see the host is so submissive, the Muslim, they will ride on his shoulders. It's a fact. To kill as many son of bitches as possible to make sure. Well, I agree. We have to kill, every, excuse my language, every son of a bitch of Hamas. You sentenced to this many Muslim terrorists? In your stupid country. So how come in your stupid country, in your stupid government, in your stupid president, you can kill every son of a bitch of those terrorists, but they cannot kill them in Israel? 
How come it's lawful for you and it's not against a human right for you, but it's against a human right for them? Do you see the hypocrite? Every single Muslim country, if an organization killed anyone, the punishment is death. How the police, they arrest those terrorists? By gun machines, shooting them dead or alive, get them and then they hang them. So how come in your country, you go after them with guns, you use even airplanes like what happened in Sinai, not far away. Go and see how, how many, how many attack happened in Sinai. The, the Egyptian government, they use airplanes, they use artillery, they use tanks, they use missiles, they use rockets to find the terrorists. How come there nobody complain? The, the, the Egyptian government, they wipe even villages from existence. In fact, there was a city, it's called Old Rafah. Do you see now we, we, the, the Gaza they have? They have a border, right? But there is a city called Old Rafah, Old Rafah the old one. That one, the one close to the border is destroyed. If we go right now to Syria and we look at the pictures, what we will find? Did you see the Muslims in Egypt going crazy? How come they go crazy only with Israel? See here, this is Gaza and this is Egypt. Close to the borders, there used to be a lot of Bedouin who have their villages and cities and I mean, uh, uh, houses, etc. The Egyptian government, they destroyed everything. In every inch in Sinai, there was a war. You know what war is? Literally, war. All those videos. This is Egypt. The video name, look, look, look how the Egyptian, they are dealing with the ground. They do carpet bombing to kill the terrorist. Here the title is Killing, Shooting. I'm not going to show the video. The soldier here, he will shoot the captured terrorist alive in front of you in the camera. They record him. If I use, let me use Google Translation. Hold on, give me a second. Rear video, watch what the Egyptian army did to terrorists in Sinai. So the Egyptian army can use airplanes and rockets and kill as many as he can. The, Egypt, the, the Israeli army cannot do that. You cannot. Only Muslims have license to kill terrorists. You should not kill terrorists. You have no license. Here we go, look. This is the Egyptian army fighting against their own Hamas. <laughs> they can do all of this, but you cannot do it. This is the Egyptian army. Another video. Is the Egyptian army shooting rockets, RBG, uh, uh, missiles, tanks? This is not a movie, this is a real video of a real war with the organization the same as Hamas. In the comment you will see the Muslims saying, May Allah bless you, army. Look, nobody's angry. May Allah give you victory, the army of Egypt. I just use Google translation. May Allah protect you have wide mercy on murder and give patience to their family. Long life, Egypt. But they are killing Muslims, terrorists. If Hamas operate in Egypt, they shoot them immediately. 
If the Israelis shoot Hamas in Israel, every Muslim get upset.